Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Waramai First Nations people and huge welcome to you, your guides, my guides and the universal energies. Absolute pleasure to have you along. i um, using uh, for this reading my uh, runic tarot, which means it's going to be a bit of a difficult reading. So I do apologize if, if this is uh, going to be triggering to you, please feel free to um, Skip this video. Uh, what I'm going to have a look at is the uh, what's going on in, if I'm looking this way, it's because my notes are down here, in regards to Israel and Lebanon. I read uh, when the um, Gaza-Israel attacks first happened that Lebanon, something about Lebanon would be quite key in actually resolving this conflict. I have no idea how. Um, it's just uh, what the reading came through as. But uh, what's happening at the moment is literally one day after uh, the uh, Hamas attack uh, into Israel. And uh, if you're interested, have a look at my Netanyahu videos in regards to that. But uh, um, Hamas attacked into Israel. One day later, the Hezbollah fired rockets into the disputed Sheba, Sheba Farms area, so um, which has now caused a dispute between a, a conflict happening between Israel and Lebanon or the Hezbollah of Lebanon. Uh, the Sheba Farms area, now I do apologise if I pronounced that wrong, is in the Golan Heights. The Golan Heights is disputed territory that was um, Lebanese territory, uh, but uh, back in 81, Israel um, invaded the area and declared it as part of Israel. Uh, the only uh, country that um, has... Uh, acknowledge that the Golan Heights is part of Israel is the US, from what I understand. Um, so um, if I can read my notes down here, um, uh, it all comes out of a disputed area where it's the conjunction of Syria, Lebanon and Israel. So interestingly enough, recently MSB of Saudi Arabia um, uh, had visits from both the Ayatollah Khomeini from Iran and uh, the body double of Putin representing Russia. I will say body double because those that have been with me for a while know my feelings on whether Putin's still on this planet or not. Um, so I'm really, as odd as it sounds, I'm really getting a, a strong feeling that um, MSB in Saudi Arabia are, are pulling the strings of the conflict in this area, um, playing the nice guy on one hand with the West while doing this underhandedness on the other hand. Um, so let's have a look. I'm not quite sure where to go with this one. I just feel like I needed to read on this. Uh, what I might start off, for those that uh, have followed me for a while will know that I have seen a, um, an a really large explosion of some sort go with the earth literally going whoop, uh, not being on the surface. It's not a bombing of somewhere. It's a, a misfiring of uh, something underground um, or, or, yeah, um, that's going to make the whole world go, holy, what are we doing here? And make the whole world sit up and it's going to bring about the ending of this conflict. So let's see. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Let's see where it goes. Um, re a lot of them really emotionally overwhelming, but an emotional new start as something unknown comes forward on the diplomatic level. I have seen that information will come out that Netanyahu has is be, um, somewhat behind the Hamas attacks. Um, if you disagree with me, please don't comment. You will if you if you type put anything. Uh, I, I'm quite happy to have an actual discussion, but if you're just going to be abusive, I shall just simply remove your comment. Um, we've got Russia here as well, but also. Something significantly new coming forward. Something significantly new that's going to force um, 
force a backing off. Is that a backing off in regards to the conflict? Okay, let's have a look. I'm not quite sure where to go, but let's have a look. Show me the energies behind the Hezbollah, Lebanon and Israel conflict. Show me the energies behind. Not that one. Okay, let's see where this goes. I have no expectations and I have no idea where this is going to go. Right. The new start. A significant new start coming forward here. No idea what this is. Um, I'm asking about the energies behind, but this is the signifier. A new start. The Queen of Pentacles. A new start in regards to stability and security and healing. Okay, behind the scenes. The energy is behind the scenes, the three of um, three of pentacles, dark money. It's my dark money card. Uh, three involved. Who are these three? Really feeling, okay, I'm feeling that I know the Putin body double went to see MSB, but I'm just feeling that Russia's really standing on the sidelines in regards to this. I'm getting Netanyahu, Iran, and MSB as the three working behind the scenes. Knight of Cups. An offer being made. Information yet to come forward. Beware the false knight. Okay. Beware the false knight. Any if. Where am I going with this? I'm asking about the Lebanon Israel conflict. I'm just getting beware the false knight because there are those working behind the scenes in regards to this. Now, I'm going to hold this up. I don't know if you can see his face there. It's a very aggressive-looking figure. And I use particular decks because of the images. Okay, let's see where this goes. Page of Pentacles, something completely unexpected out of left field coming forward in regards to this offer. And we've got lies. Five of Pentacles. Lies, sabotage, self-sabotage, uh, abuse of power. Yeah, just beware these this any false knight that comes forward because it's going to it's going to be revealed. The truth is going to come forward. A, the karma hanging over the um, conflict between Israel and Lebanon. The truth going to restrict. And celebration. And celebration. Okay. I'm going to go with my gut here and say that the Golan Heights are going to be returned to Lebanon. A restriction brought about by the truth is going to bring about a celebration. The outcome, five of pentacles. Moral, financial, um, ethical corruption, but it's also nobody wins in wars. Out in the cold, nobody wins in wars. Left to bandage their own wounds. Partnership coming forward and working together. An agreement. The wheel of fortune, the fates are, a turn, uh, are turning. And the Seven of Cups. I'm drawn to the fact that there's a child, birth of a child here, and these cups are being presented. Uh, I know in some decks it's illusion, delusion. I know in some decks it's poor choices. But I'm just seeing in regards to this card the birth of something new and then offers being brought forward. Offers being brought forward. Okay. We've got here the King of Cups, the emotional maturity, the diplomat, the negotiator, bringing about a new partnership beginning, 
surrender and victory coming here. I'm going to say victory here. Queen of Cups, something unexpected coming forward. The King of Cups, the truth, what is unexpected coming forward. A powerful truth is what I'm getting there. Um, I'm not going to keep reading on those cards because they are getting quite dark in regards to let's say Israel's stance in regards to the Golan Heights. I'm going to instead look at the Golan Heights themselves. Will the Golan Heights be returned to Lebanon? It's very much energies of um, Israel pushing into Gaza over the last however many decades, just simply reclaiming lands because they had the greater might, lands that did not belong to them. If you look at the map of Gaza in, I think it was 1947 or 1949 versus literally a year ago, you'll see that Israel has uh, just basically said, no, nope, this is mine, I'll have it. Um, now, if you... Uh, I'm not anti-Israel, I'm not anti-Jew, I'm not anti-Palestinian. I just want everyone to live together in peace and harmony and stop the bullying, stop the abuse of power, stop the, the aggression and definitely stop the wars. Okay, but let's have a look. Will the Golan Heights be returned to Lebanon? Show me the future. Will the Golan Heights... We return to Lebanon. There was a called the Six Day War back in eighty one, where Israel just basically went and took it. Let's have a look. Will the Golden Heights be returned to Lebanon? Knight of Cups making an offer, an agreement coming forward. Five of Cups, though uh, just literally disregard for human life. So I'm wondering whether this is a negotiated offer, disregard of human life, indolence about the cost of humanity, loss. That's going to be the challenge. Foundation. It is a divergence point, otherwise known as a crossroads point. The decision has not been made yet. They're paused. There is the light shining forward, about, but there's also a path of darkness. Which way to go? Will the Golden Heights be returned to Lebanon? It's, there's, the decision is, there's no, it's just not happening as of yet. In the past, the star card, good versus evil, mm, more about hope and healing, hope and healing. Will it be returned, the ten of swords, the downfall card, the truth, downfall in regards to the truth, immediate future, defiance under pressure. So this is the here and now. This is the going forward on this side. Defiance. Defiance in the face of the, the flames, basically. Defiance. It's my Joan of Arc type card. I'm just getting defiance there is what I'm getting. So the current energies are beware the false knight. There's just an absolute disregard for human life by those that by the corrupt leadership is what I've got there. There is no movement on the path forward as of yet. The Ten of Swords, but they are stabbed into the earth. They're not stabbed into the back of somebody. So I'm getting here that it's these these swords of truth are being stabbed into this land. And it's the ending of a cycle. Defiance. 
here by the by those in Lebanon externally contract agreement a partnership perhaps coming forward and then we've got the sun card fully full illumination but movement for the fact that she's on a chariot here joy so I did ask is it going to be is the Golan Heights going to be returned to Lebanon and I think it's going to be a yes Hopes and fears, the King of Pentacles, Netanyahu himself, may be the leader of, of Lebanon as well. Hopes and fears, the outcome, Seven of Pentacles, claiming, laying claim, laying claim to. What am I getting here? Well, pentacles are earth, laying claim to the earth. Deciding what's really important and letting go of the rest. Holding on to what is important and letting the rest go up in flames. A harsh truth coming forward. And a significant new beginning, a new plan, a new... Uh, how do I put this? A new line in the sand. It's, I don't know that it's going to be an easy path forward. I've then got uh, the chariot chaos, but also happening very quickly. Things being seen from a point, different point of view with the hanged man. Again, we've got nobody wins in war. Page of Wands, new information being brought forward. It's also my resistance card. Work going on behind the scenes with the Eight of Pentacles, skilled work, and then the Queen of Pentacles, stability, security, healing, and the Hierophant, the higher authorities. Okay, on the base again, we've got the Negotiator. The diplomat, the negotiator, bringing about a significant ending, planting the seeds, planting the potential, the possibilities of going forward, end of a cycle, sort of truth coming out. Okay, I'm going to grab pendulum, but only because I suspect I'm being a little bit vague and I'm going to ask some specific yes-no questions here. Last question, please. Will the Golan Heights region be returned to Lebanon? Yes. Okay, can I ask a question, please? Will it be returned due to fighting? Will it be returned due to war? Yeah, I'm getting a real pull to this. This is a no. Is this is the Golan Heights going to be returned to Lebanon through the international courts? Through the international courts, that's a yes. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, I might leave it at that. If you want me to look further, just uh, ask away. Um, there's, there's so many conflicting uh, energies coming through at the moment. Um, it's got the new boundaries being set up and the return of families as the uh, a sort of truth has been brought forward and uh, a, uh, uh, the tower what is is being blamed and um, so that something new can be brought forward. This emperor energy, this, this patriarchal my way or the highway is going to reach an ending. Um, I, I'm going to leave it there. Don't know if it was a very satisfactory answer. What I'm really getting is that uh, it's not so much... Um, 
it's not Hezbollah Israel war that is going to return the Golan Heights to Lebanon, but uh, the diplomats and the negotiators making agreements uh, and it going through the international court system. Okay, let's see how it plays. Love to you all. Thank you.